Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Mara. This is Nightmare Bliss. I do unboxings, lifestyle kind of stuff. Candles. Oh my god, I haven't lit a candle. I forgot to light a candle today. Actually, I had one lit in my dining room. Does that count? I'm finishing up three candles. I finished one that was a spring candle. I finally just now finished it from Goose Creek. It was the bunny cookie one. And I have two other candles that I am finishing up right now, and they are about to be done. I'm burning through all of my candles that I have had all year so that I can get into the fall candles soon. Are, is it just me, or you just want to burn fall candles already? Come on, Summer. Get out of here. Bring on the fall candles. Speaking of fall candles and spooky season, I finally did it. I finally bought something that I haven't bought ever, and I kept seeing their name, and I kept hearing about them, and... I lovey, lovey, love bath products and things like that, so I really wanted to try it. But first, if you're new here, <laughs> I am here. I'm a retired makeup artist, hairstylist, nail tech, esthetician. I used to do all of it. I got licensed in all of that in one big go. Spent a lot of time in cosmetology school so that I could do all of those things when I got out. And I did do all of them when I got out. I did all of that in the salon and more because I was a TG Linea Tony and Guy bedhead. Okay, there you go. Yeah. The bedhead people, I was an ambassador for them. I used to go out and like teach classes on how to use their products and introduce the new product lines that they had coming out and blah, blah, blah. So I did that too. But now I am retired and I live on a mountain in the middle of nowhere where I do all this fun unboxing stuff and shopping and trying products and doing makeup and giving tips, telling you what's good and what isn't and finding things that you might have heard of. Are they good? Are they not good? Ask a professional. I've been doing this for like 40 some years playing with all kinds of products. I was an only daughter. I had four older brothers. Now I have three. Sadly, I lost my oldest brother over 10 years ago, but I was raised as an only child almost because I was way younger than my brothers. I'm getting way too much into this. The point is I was the only girl. I had no sisters. So my mom was like makeup, hair, nails, jewelry. She like threw it all at me. Anything I wanted to try. It wasn't like, oh, well, you can't wear makeup. You can't do your, you know, you can't do stuff to your hair. You can't. She would say that and I would do it anyway, and then she'd go, ooh, you're good at this. I told you, it's general chaos around here. It says it right in the description on my page. Anyway, look what I got. Mm, posh Goth. I got a Posh Goth order. Have you heard of Posh Goth? Comment below. Posh Goth is freaking awesome. Oh my god, the wrapping. Everything is so cool. Look at this. <gasps> ooh, it's a box of sparkly fancies. And look, how cute is this? Look at these. Open me for a spooky delight from Posh Goth. I got like little coffin boxes that look freaking handmade. These are really cool. Oh my God, I love these. And they have something special in them. What is this? Bat ring. You gotta love a plastic bat ring. Here, I'm gonna put it right there. Okay, and uh, let's see. Is this, it's something liquid. Perfume, clove cigarettes, clove cigarettes. Do I have a new favorite perfume? I haven't even smelled it yet, and I want to say yes. Oh my God, it smells exactly like freaking clove cigarettes. No way. Wait, let me see if I have a second list in here. Got a lot of stuff in here. Anyway, I kept seeing Posh Goth come up on my Instagram, right? So I'm like, you know what? It's almost getting to be bath season. And where I like to soak in my tub. It's a little hot in the summer, even with my AC. But, okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know why it came in here? It's because I bought the samples. I bought the sample size, which is really cool. Do not ingest Posh Poisons Perfume Oil. Poshkoth is in Shirley, Massachusetts, and little indie brand. Love, love, love them. Love them. Mm, www.poshgoth.com. So this is the clove cigarette perfume. Now, what I liked was they have little samples of their perfumes, right? So if you don't want to buy, like, a whole giant bottle, because, you know, I get all the scent birds, like I freaking just reviewed, I also got black candy this is licorice absinthe scented gothic perfume <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna you know what you're you either you're one you're one of the two kinds of people you either love black licorice or you hate black licorice am i right i love black licorice jamie is going to freak out when he smells this my husband is going to be like 
Oh, no. Uh, my husband is not a fan of black licorice. My best friend, Jamie, I buy him bags of... Wait, why are we not spraying? I buy him, like... Oh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a cap that's, like, the exact same color. Wait, we're going to do the um, black candy perfume first. Wait, I'm going to do it on the back of my hand. Oh, wow! Oh, my God. You know what? Um... Black candy licorice absinthe scented. It's not black licorice. Like, it's not like boom in your face black licorice. It almost has like a, it's very spicy smelling. It definitely has a gothy absinthe. Wow, that is different. And I don't mean different. I mean different. It's different. Two thumbs up. Different. Awesome. This different is good. It almost smells like it has cinnamon in it. Like, it's very spicy. It's sweet and spicy. I love it. Okay, now I gotta try the clove cigarette one. Holy crap. Clove cigarettes gothic perfume spray sample. My husband will attack me. Remember Jarums? We used to smoke the Jarums all the time. Yep, it smells like clove cigarettes. <laughs> wow, it actually has like a tobacco smell to it. Oh, wow. Oh, whoo. That takes me back. Wow. It is a very strong tobacco-y smell, though. Whew. And the clove. You know, I I'm telling you, put black candy licorice absence together and clove cigarettes, and it smells like everybody I used to hang out with back at Todd's in the day in Detroit. <laughs> if you're from Detroit and you remember Todd's, that's all I'm going to say, Todd's, or City Club. Oh my God, these two perfumes together smell like City Club. Just, no, I won't say what else you should add. I also bought, let's see, where are we? What's this? This is Blood Bath and Body Wash, which I thought was like hilarious. <laughs> and it's called Blood of My Enemies. Oh my God. Oh, it's on my nose. Um, holy crap, that smells good. Okay, I think I'm going to try this tonight. <laughs> this smells really, really good. For adult use only. Blood of my enemies. Oh my god, could you imagine if I had like a little girl and I'm like, honey, we're taking a bath. Get in your blood of my enemies. I would do it. <sighs> That's why I don't have kids. They wouldn't let me. Um, they're like, no. Okay, so aside from having really cool names, their packaging is amazing and over the top. Check that out. Do, 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 do. Awesome. This is the Lunatic Whipped Soap and Scent Bathory. I am a fan of... Oh my god, it's got little sparklies. Wait, wait. Oh, oh. It's got little moon and star sparkles in it. Look at that. <gasps> okay, so Menagerie got me hooked on whipped bath soaps. I have been using nothing but the Menagerie whipped bath soaps. I probably have gone through like I know I've gone through like five and I probably have like 10 more of all the little, and the Menagerie ones are smaller though. They're a little bit smaller than this. So I am very interested to try this and compare to the Menagerie ones because I love Menagerie. They're kind of hard to get. They run out of them a lot. I mean, they're in a new warehouse now, so they may actually be able to make more, you know, maybe, possibly, maybe, possibly. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so next... <laughs> I kind of got a little bit of everything. So, you know, I got the perfumes. I got the bath wash. I got the soap. This, I I was talking about Limoncello. Oh, look, it's right here. Limoncello is in this Prada Candy Florel, right? Limoncello. And I was saying, oh, I love Limoncello. So now I have, this is a body lotion, embalming fluid. Demoncello. I had to. It's friggin' awesome. So this is Lemon Squares Scented Body Lotion. It doesn't say do not eat it, but it should say do not eat it. Look, wait, let me see if I can do it this way because I don't want it to dump out. It is really, really, really luscious looking. And it's this crazy yellow color, which is a little spooky and kind of cool. Lastly, I have... Death by Unicorn Bathory, and these are bubbling bath salts. And I kind of loved, look at the colors, first of all. <gasps> Ooh, bubble bath in crazy colors, bath salts, and little unicorns. There's the label, and it's called Death by Unicorn. 
I don't know. If you're going to go, there could be worse ways. I'm going to be careful opening this. Hold on. Oh, my God. I wonder if I can do this without spilling it. Hold on. <gasps> Look at the top. See the unicorn? I don't want to use it. It's so cool. Oh, my God. There's a full-on unicorn right in the top. <gasps> oh, my God. It's so freaking cool. This... This smells exactly like Fruity Pebbles or like Fruit Loops. I mean, oh my God, it's Fruit Loops. It's totally Fruit Loops. How did they do that? This smells more like Fruit Loops than any Fruit Loops scented thing that I own. I am obsessed with things that smell like Fruit Loops. My favorite candle, which is gone. If you're wondering why this is here, why she's gone, we are going to re-pour this candle in a future video. You'll have to come back and see how we do that. This is, I love my fur ba babies more than most people. And this is from Malicious Women Candle Company. But the name of this candle is Fruity Loops. Not spelled, you know, Fruit Loops because they don't want to, you know, sue, get sued and stuff. Anyway, Fruity Loops, Malicious Women. Probably the single best Fruit Loop scented candle that I found so far. There's one on Amazon I want to try, but I don't know. I don't know. Fruity Loop so far is by far the most Fruit Loop smelling thing ever. This is not a candle, but holy crap, this is, that's straight up Fruit Loops. I think this is, <laughs> I don't even know how to guess what my favorite thing is going to be, but I'm going to say this. So that is my little first time, I don't know if I can carry it. <gasps> First time haul of Posh Goth bath products. You are not going to get to go into the bathtub with me, but when I do use these, I will try to throw some shorts up or something on my Instagram and stories, and I'll show what the bath salts look like and what the bubble bath looks like. And I probably will use all these things over the weekend and then come back and do a review and let you know what I thought of everything. But so, yeah, I will definitely be getting bath products from Posh Goth again. Check out their perfumes, though. They, they're they really unique. And look how cute these are. If you want to just get somebody, like, a little perfume sampler, like, gothy thing as a gift, these are adorable. And they come with the little spider ring in them and the little perfume. So, and I love that you just get, the, I mean, really, do you really need a giant size bottle of clove cigarettes perfume spray? Probably not. <laughs> or black licorice candy, although, oh. I love the black licorice candy one. I kind of want to spray this all over my Jeep so my Jeep smells like this. I want my Jeep to smell like black candy. Oh my god, that would be so cool. If my, I think I might keep this in my car and just spritz my Jeep with it all the time. But let me know what you think of all this. Have you ever tried Posh Goth? Do they come up on your Instagram timeline? Maybe it's just the people I follow and then, you know, how they go algorithm. They're like, oh, she's looking at all this gothy stuff. Let's suggest Posh Goth to her. Well, in that case, I'm not going to complain about the uh, targeted ads on Instagram because I would probably not know about Posh Goth had it not come up in my Instagram timeline. So I am thrilled to try this. I have actually heard nothing but good things about it, so I'm really excited to try it. And oh, look, there's a little sparkly moon on my desk. I love how they put the little moons and the little unicorn. It's the details for me. Let's look one more time because it's going to get ruined. <laughs> oh, oh, I just spilled bath, bath salts all over my desk. Wait, you know what? I actually want to see what these feel like. So let's do this. Got my little card. Yeah, these are nice. I like. I am going to end up ruining the unicorn. And I like the consistency of these bath salts too. It's really, really, really cool. So... I'm excited to try it and uh, say goodbye to little unicorn because he's going to be gone this weekend. That's the bad thing is like these things are so cute. You don't want to use them, but I'm like, yeah, I'm going to use them. And I also like that these little containers, I love the designs on them and I will definitely be able to reuse these like hair clips and barrettes and things like that would be great in here. Bobby pins and the like. So anyway, thanks for watching. I so want to go jump in the tub now and try all this. I think I need to go, where did I put it? I need to go take a blood bath. <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Let me know if you've ever tried this. Let me know what you're excited to hear about. Do you think this is a brand you're going to want to try? I think you should, but let me go test all this and then you can come back and see what I think about it all. But I don't know. 
I'm thinking I'm going to love it already. Do you hear that turkey screaming in the background? She will not shut up. I have to go check on my turkey. I will see you in the next video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to my old videos. There, I have a pet turkey. She's a baby. She lives in the house and she will not shut up. With that, I'm out of here. See you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>